Hey everyone, I wanted to do kind of an up-close review of the NYX Butt Naked Eyes palette. This has been out for just a few months, and I actually got this around Christmas time. And it has 15 eyeshadows, 4 blushes, 1 bronzer, and 2 face illuminators or highlighters. And um, I first thing, I love the name of this actually. It says Butt Naked Eyes right on the palette. And I love it. It's kind of like a mockery of like a lot of companies, you know, having this naked palette. You know, this like high-end expensive, you know, like the Urban Decay one. I think it's just like a kind of a cute, you know, spin-off on that. So here's what the box looks like. On the back, it just has, you know, kind of like a diagram of all the colors and all the products that you get. And of course, NYX is cruelty-free, so that's always nice. So here's the palette itself. It is like a shiny plastic material, so it will leave some fingerprints. Um, just be wary of that. It will need some cleaning. So I'll go ahead and open this up. It does have quite a large mirror on it. So I'm not going to get that in camera to blind you guys, but it does have a little protective sheet, which I always save. And here are the eyeshadows. As you can see, the eyeshadows kind of are on the taupey cool toned um, spectrum of colors, which I actually really like. I know that a lot of people have the original Urban Decay Naked palette. And the thing about the original Urban Decay Naked palette, um, it's a really good palette and it has predominantly a lot of browns. And I think this palette is a very good complementary palette to the original Naked palette. Um, again, it has a lot of those cool toned, um, taupey, almost like gray tones that just are really complementary. Um, you know, to a lot of other colors that you may have, a lot of browns, a lot of chocolate browns, and you can do a lot of colors with these. You have, you know, some of these browns right here where you can do just like, you know, a traditional, um, you know, everyday brown smoky, or it has, you know, like you have like these pinks over here where you can do like a purple smoky, or you can do, of course, you know, silver black, and then you have this other silver over here and do your, you know, more dramatic smoky eye. What's really nice too is that you have a lot of these highlighting colors here at the top, and um, which you can use all over the lid or for highlighting depending on your skin tone. So that's what I like about this palette is that you have a lot of options for different types of looks that you can do. I will be doing a tutorial um, with this palette in the future because I did a more bold nighttime smoky look for a concert, which was actually one of the most favorite looks I have ever done for a concert before. And it was beautiful with this palette. Um, one thing that I also want to say about this palette is that it includes a lot more matte palette, um, I'm sorry, matte colors than the Urban Decay Naked palettes. You get about half the colors here, about six colors I want to say. Um, I'll put an annotation of exactly how many are uh, mattes in this palette as opposed to just straight shimmery eyeshadows. Another thing that I really like about this palette is that you won't have a lot of those chunky glitter fallout um, type of eyeshadows. That's really nice. The texture of all of these is um, really smooth, really buttery, creamy. Um, it's very, very good quality. The one thing that I will say about the matte colors is that you do have to kind of build up the color to really get that pigmentation. But that's kind of true about a lot of matte colors. Um, they're just matte colors I just find are really difficult to find, you know, the perfect formulation. But these are actually pretty good. You just have to build them up. I do use these with a primer and have used also the NYX um, Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk just to bring out the color a little bit more. But um, if you're using the shimmery ones, you don't really have to do that. I just did that with the matte eyeshadows. So overall, these are really, really great. I'm going to show the back of my hand where I do have um, a few swatches of the eyeshadows. Um, I have a pinky tone at the top, um, the top row to the left, which is this one right here. Um, in the middle, I have the matte black right here. And then um, to the right, it's kind of shimmery, um, this taupey color, which is actually my favorite one, which is that one. And then um, down here, I have a matte brown which is that one right there. Um, this one took a little bit of swipes to kind of build up the color. And then I have this white color, which is that one right here. And I have um, this purpley color, which on camera it's coming off as brown, but it's actually this color right here. And then I have this silver color right here, which is a really gorgeous silver. And that is that one right here. So the color pigmentation, as you can see, it's beautiful. And this only has, um, I actually did put on a primer. I use the e.l.f. Mineral um, eyeshadow primer from the studio, or the mineral line, I'm sorry. Um, I don't have the white eyeshadow base though. This is just primer. And um, the color pigmentation, as you can see, is really, really great. The only one that I set, like I said, is the matte color, which is the bottom um, left, the bottom left one. It just took a couple swipes to build up that matte color. But overall, these are really, really great eyeshadows. So I will open up the bottom drawer so you can see the blushes and the bronzers. 
Okay, so here are the blushes and the bronzers. You get four blushes at the top and one bronzer on the bottom left and the two face, illumer, face illuminators on the bottom right, which you can use as highlighting colors. Um, the blushes are really nice. You do get a good mix of shimmery and matte. This one over here is pretty shimmery. And um, you have a good mixture of mattes over here. This one in particular I really like out of the palette. Um, one thing I forgot to say is none of the eyeshadows or the blushes have names to them, so I can't tell you whether or not um, one of the colors is part of the permanent line of NYX colors, so that's one unfortunate thing that I want to point out. The bronzer is really nice. Um, one thing I do need to point out about the bronzer is that if you have a darker skin tone or if you're... Um, um, you know, female or male of color, uh, it may not be a good bronzer for you because it is a little bit on the lighter side. If you're, you know, fair complexion to medium complexion, it, you know, would be a good bronzer. The face illuminators or highlighters are actually pretty nice. They do have some shimmer to it. This one seems to have a little bit more shimmer to it than this one, so I prefer to use the one in the middle. But here are some swatches. I only did a couple of them. Let me get the shadows out of the way. Um, the brighter pink one, to the left is this one right here. The one in the middle, this more like mauve one, is that one right there. And then um, the shimmery one is the face illuminator in the middle. And then if you could see at the very top, that like muddy brown color is the bronzer, which it's pretty, but I don't think this may be like my perfect bronzer. I don't know. And um, I do have slightly darker um, skin tone because I am Hispanic. So to me, the bronzer, I had to swipe it quite a few times, actually even more than the matte eyeshadows in the palette to actually build up the color. So I might use the bronzer if I want a very, very um, barely detectable um, bronzer on my face, I would use this. But um, for contouring, I probably wouldn't. But maybe if I want to warm up like my entire face, then I could use that bronzer. So that is the palette overall. Let me see if I can open up the whole palette so you can see what the whole thing looks like. Try not to get the mirror in the um, photo, uh, the camera frame. So that is what the whole palette looks like. So overall, this is, um, I think, a really, really good buy. And I think you can kind of skip the second Urban Decay Naked palette if you do have the first one. Because um, like I said, it's very complimentary to the first one. Let me close that up. Um, it does come with two dual-ended um, dual sponge applicators, which I don't use, but if you're in a pinch, those can be pretty good for packing on color. Um, I have seen this both online and in Ulta stores um, at ranging about $20 to $25. If you can find it at your local Ulta, make sure you look for coupons. Say they oftentimes have like a $3.50 or $5 off coupon, which um, you can use it um, for this, but make sure you read the details on the coupons. So that is my quick review of the NYX Butt Naked Eyes palette. Um, definitely a great buy for only about $20, $25. It's so worth it because you can you got your eyeshadows and a blush and bronze all in one and you can do very many looks and it's really great quality. Um, you know, of course, I always recommend using a primer and perhaps with some of the colors, a white um, eyeshadow base or maybe a cream color eyeshadow base to really make those colors pop. But overall, a really, really great quality palette for especially for the money. And um, of course, NYX is cruelty free and generally they also are hypoallergenic. I'm looking at the, at the packaging right now. And it does say hypoallergenic. So that's something to keep in mind about NYX, which I always appreciate about companies when they can make that extra effort. So um, really great great palette. Stay tuned for the um, nighttime smoky uh, tutorial I'll be doing in the future. And any questions or comments, leave them down below. And thanks again for watching.